Well, good day, and I'm Ruth Bowick, and welcome to Healthcare for 55 Plus. Today, my guest is Lou Swankar, a chiropodist, and I might say that Lou and I grew up friends <laughs> on the same street, 4th Street North, for many years, so I know you quite well, so it's <laughs> a pleasure to be with you today, Lou. <laughs> now, the informative program is thanks to Shaw Spotlight, and I'm so pleased that Shaw Spotlight has invited me to be the interviewer with a number of professionals involved in patient health care for seniors. I will add that I'm positive everyone viewing this show, not only seniors, will glean a great deal of wonderful information today. We in Kenora area are fortunate in being able to boast a great plethora of informative guests to this show and to get started, I am delighted to introduce Lou Swankar. Welcome, Lou. So now Thank we're you. going to start, okay? <laughs> sure. Uh, right off the bat, like I know what a podiatrist, I think I know what a podiatrist is. I know what a pedicurist is, but I, I really don't know exactly what a chiropodist is. So would you like to explain sure. that? Sure. Um, a chiropodist is oh, medically... Cur. It's a cur. Well, yeah. Okay. It, you know what? You can say it any way you want. Oh, okay. Uh, Thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, because at school they said chiropodist. I learned chiropodist when I first heard about it. Okay. I looked it up. It said chiropodist. So oh, so I think anyway. Okay. Thank yeah. you for but explaining yeah. it, though. So yeah. chiropodists um, were medically trained uh, healthcare professionals that do foot care, and we take care of certain minor to moderate foot um, disorders. So foot and ankles, where we are working and nothing above. So. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, so then we'll go on then. So now remember I mentioned the three, or so out of two, what is the difference between, and I'm going to do it right, chiropodist and a podiatrist? Yeah. Mostly I like to say spelling, but that's okay. not right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, a podiatrist is American trained, and I believe they they have the title doctor. Um and they can do bone surgery. They oh. have uh, soft tissue surgery through their program, whereas we do not. They have more prescription rights, and uh, they can convey a diagnosis to the patient, whereas we are limited. And we have to, uh, if we have any issues with what we think might be a bigger uh, problem, uh, more systemically, then we talk to the doctor. They're, they're, they're their doctor, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, now that was a chiropodist. So now what that, is the, no, that was a podiatrist. Oh, that was the podiatrist. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so they're trained in the states, and they, they are, and they yeah. are a doctor then. Yeah, they, okay. they have uh -huh. the title. That's why they can do so. Now in Ontario, they work under the Chiropody Act, so they're deemed chiropodists in a way, um, but they still, I believe, have the title doctor. But okay. chiropodists in Ontario do not. Okay. So we've already described what a chiropodist is, so now we know the difference. So how long do you have to train for this? Because it seems like you've got to know every bone. There's a lot of bones <laughs> yeah, in the feet. Yes. How many bones do you know? There Remember? are 26 bones in one foot, so yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of bones, uh, bones, little bones muscles, muscles, yeah. mm -hmm. little bumps and everything mm -hmm. you have to uh -huh. know the names of. So how long is your training then? It's uh, When I took the training, it was three years. Mm. We did didactic training um, and the practical all kind of mixed together. Now they've changed the program. They do two years didactic, so classroom, and the last year they're out doing practical or a practicum um, within a hospital setting or a private practice. And where did you go to school? Uh, Michener Institute for Where's Applied it? Health Sciences in Toronto. Oh, okay. Yeah. Michener, is that, wasn't there a Governor General? Michener? Yes. So the school was, is named yeah. after him? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I remember some. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so now, um, what services does a chiropodist provide? Now, remember, remember, I had a friend. I would bring her here, and yes. I would just leave her, and I would yeah. go away for what half an hour to an hour yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And I often wondered what happened to her, but I know she was very happy when I finally <laughs> picked her up. So, yeah. if you can tell me what made Bill happy, is it services <laughs> yeah. that you did for her? Yeah, for or the, for anyone that comes yeah, in with? For yes. the most part, it's maintenance, especially in the older population. We're just trying to make sure that the nails are cut, calluses are taken care of, corns are dealt with. Uh, any offloading if we need to to try and prevent some of the corns from developing or bones uh, rubbing toes being too close together. Um, I also do wart uh, treatments, um, nail surgeries, uh, that's for ingrown toenails, um, orthotics which are um, oh, okay. the in special insole mm -hmm. for a, a shoe for any problem so that involves gait analysis as well. Um, Wound care, so diabetic wound care we treat. Um, 
as long as it's not super deep that we need to send them mm -hmm. off to the, the Where hospital. would you get, you mentioned uh, um, insoles or something for the, uh, I just kind of missed it, something there. What you, is there. I don't think there's anybody in town that... The, the, would, there's actually... Um, you got it. I should have remembered yeah, what you said there. I can do, uh, I, I actually, I cast... So I cast the person's foot in plaster oh, I think Paris, that's what I'm talking and then I, I build the orthotic on that because it's a replica of the person's foot. And you can do that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I make my own. So a lot of uh, chiropodists will send the cast away and have the that's orthotic what I was built wondering. somewhere mm -hmm. else, but mm -hmm. I, I make my own right Well, you got here. a little room back here somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So I do that. Well, that's great. So then you don't have to wait for them to get exactly. fit in. And if something isn't right, you got to send exactly, it away again. Yeah. You can do it right here. So right we're very back. fortunate then you can do those things yeah. right here. You don't have to yes. send stuff away. Yeah, mm -hmm. it makes it a yeah. quicker turnaround. I didn't realize that like, uh, so for, you don't do bunions though. I can, I don't do surgery. Like that wouldn't be within my scope. Okay. Uh, as a chiropodist, we can't do any bone surgery, okay, but, but I can like through orthotics, through offloading, padding, uh, splinting, we can um, work on bunions and the okay. pain that's caused by them. Yeah, because I remember I had really bad bunions in the summer. I would walk home bare feet and the, the side, hot sidewalk was better than putting my feet into <laughs> shoes with the pain. Yes, so yeah. I had, but I had to go to, I can't think of his name, but in Toronto and he was very good. Uh, so yes. He did it with, uh, I think it was with laser. laser. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, it wasn't cut or anything. Yeah, yet. it makes mm -hmm. a big difference, mm -hmm. the healing time. Yes, oh, well, I'll say, yes. Mm -hmm. Except I had to stay in Toronto for, I think it was six weeks because I had to visit him every month. Oh, and wow. that was really tough. But like I had yeah, two daughters be... there, but you know. For, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it was someone else, yeah. that would be tough. Because oh, So then uh, like if, uh, like calluses, you got a machine that would take yeah, the cat. Like... Uh, we actually, uh, you, I shouldn't say this because maybe people will be scared away, but we use a scalpel. Oh, yeah, okay. And we, we cut and pair uh -huh. the, the callus uh -huh. down. And, and then, yeah, we do have a little uh, machine that we kind of grind because I see some people that, you know, mm -hmm. especially yeah. on the heels. Yes, like, uh -huh, and that a rough is skin, very rough skin. Yeah, uh -huh. cracks can mm -hmm. happen if it gets too thick with yeah. the callus. Yeah. And then again, we go for back to the diabetic with, uh, with they get, start getting cracks. Yeah, that would be very harmful. More harmful. Very if they're true. Diabetic. Yeah, it's, because it's, uh, their immune system mm -hmm. is compromised mm -hmm. most of the time. Yeah. Uh, any cracks anything that can cause infection is a dangerous well, thing that's what for I was, them. Mm -hmm. yeah so you yeah. do quite a bit then mm -hmm. uh now here's another thing like our chiropody services kind of under the provincial health care that's OHIP or how does that yeah, work yeah it it is if the chiropodist belongs to a, a group like the sunset country family health team oh, yes they have andrea clemens and oh. she is a chiropodist there and uh through that it's covered however it's i think it's limited on who she can see Oh, oh. Um, Do you know in what way is she limited? Like I, I don't understand. Uh, because it's government funding, they kind of tailor it um, so that not everybody ends up there because it's just an overload. So um, she would probably have high risk diabetes or other or the ones immune compromised, more dangerous. Than that. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, just so that they they can uh -huh. handle the patient load okay how long uh -huh. has she been there because i thought you were the only one in yeah town. i had been for quite a while uh -huh. but i think she's been there at least i would say 10 years oh, re oh yeah, really she's been there a long time i never even be heard longer. of her before like i yeah. knew about you but i never even knew, i didn't know yeah. that the health team there had a show oh, yeah okay. which is wonderful mm -hmm. um so mm -hmm. uh, and then for me as private practice yes, we're good. not covered under any kind of old hip so people uh, Extended health coverage through a person's insurance. Oh, they could get it that way. They can way. get it mm -hmm. that way. But and then it's income tax deductible. Is it when they're income tax? Yeah, if they get receipts? it up. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you get a well, you have to have a certain amount. Yes, with a percentage yeah, but and it all certainly that. can yeah. go mm -hmm. towards that. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is a little bit of a benefit then. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, so we're now we're kind of here to this referral thing because you mentioned with the the, the, the lady at the health team. Uh, does one need a referral to uh, to see you at chiropodist? For or can me, they, yes. Not being private practice, anyone can come Thank in you. the door. Okay. Um, if they have extended health coverage, uh, like an insurance company that's going to pay for it, then they will need a doctor's script for the oh, care because oh, oh. the the 
company, the insurance company will want that, but I don't need okay. it. Well, what kind se. of health insurance would have someone like I have never bothered because OHIP covers everything I need. So right, far. So, like, yeah. Would you just go to an insurance agency and tell them I want well, health? A lot how of, do you, how you do you could, get it? I guess, but I, I think a lot of times through work, people have oh, insurance. An extra, so, like an extra. Yeah, it's so a great West Life, oh. uh, Green Shield. Oh, okay. Um, all those, oh, I was um, thinking something so Blue special. Cross. Yeah, because yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, I think with I was at the Meyer News, it was Great West Life. So okay, yeah. yeah. I would have needed anything, Great West Life. You could have gone through that, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Because, I mean, it's a... Your feet's so important to me, like, because you have to walk. Yes, You know, exactly. you really do. And your, yeah. as I say, there's all those bones got to be moving to get you to <laughs> yes, walk. that's right. So your feet are really important, yep. like, to me, that I would, that's why I went to Toronto to have this, that laser surgery yeah, on my to bun, be able to continue. Because the, the pain is, is excruciating sometimes. Yes, You know, yeah. and I don't mean just from buttons, but anything, like if you have warts and calluses, yeah. or it's the pressure. I remember yeah. my poor old grandmother years ago, I was only little, but she had such bad bunions. I think they're inherited. I don't want to get off the They chair. are. <laughs> but she had to cut pieces, get shoes. She would have to get a oh, knife and slice the shoe. The shoe so the yes. bunion would stick out. That would relieve the pain, of yeah, course. So, yeah, and that's why I thought, well, I'll go through that. And, but I do think that's... To get off just for a second, but I think bunions are inherited. Yes, it's, it's it, the foot type that will be inherited in okay. and then any problems. But these that other things it. like callus and things, just like because you haven't looked after your feet properly um, through the years? Not or? necessarily. Oh. It's all kind of biomechanically uh, how it happens is is um, same thing. If you have a bunion, it's going to cause the toes to go a certain mm -hmm. way and you can get corns between your toes because of that. You can get um, corns on the bottom of your feet just because of the way the toes are positioned and it just um, puts the pressure in the oh, spot. Well, thank goodness are... I never had that, but uh, yeah. So yeah, then, yeah, so that, but you can, well, so someone, let's say someone has bunions and they're not ready to like go to Toronto or wherever to get them removed and they get these corns. You can remove those corns though. Yes, uh -huh. but they will always come back because it's a pressure. Oh, oh because it's the pressure is still pressure, there. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. Till we can figure a way to offload uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. through orthotics or, mm -hmm. or certain mm -hmm. padding. Uh, then they'll just keep coming keep back. back. Oh, I didn't realize. And the, mm -hmm. and the calluses too come back. Yes, yeah, calluses oh. will too. So it's not a one-time removal. And yeah, I would. It would be wonderful for people if that were the case. Yeah, so but what, unfortunately, it? it's not. Yeah. Good for your business. Yeah, great for me. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> So oh, now let's get back to this. Is another good question. Why is it necessary for people with diabetes to take good care of their feet? Yeah. And what can they do before they even have to come here, like at home, say? Yeah, I think what we like to teach uh, people with diabetes, especially if they're newly diagnosed, is that the um, potential for them to develop peripheral neuropathy, which is numbness in the feet and can happen in the hands as well, that it doesn't give them the protective sensation that they need to know if they've stepped on something or if they oh. cut their foot. Um, and then because they're at risk of um, bad infections, something could just go wild and then they can lose their foot because of it. So not all diabetics are going to have neuropathy, but we like to get them in the frame of mind, check your shoes, make sure there's nothing in them before you put them on. Oh, of course. Sweep off yeah, like the bottom piece of, of sand your foot. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and inspect your foot mm -hmm. each day. Um, take a look if, if there's any red spots, if there's any um, cracks in the skin. Uh, even um, something like an uh, athlete's foot can be what detrimental. What is athlete's foot? It's, it's a fungus. Oh. Um, and sort of I that is it, a common name for mm. one that you'll usually have between the toes. So it can be very itchy, burning, oh. uh, very so uncomfortable. Oh. Yeah, and uh -huh. the skin can break down. So is there anything you can do here for athlete's foot? Is that included in your, uh, in your expertise? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. we can uh -huh. do prescriptions uh -huh. for the creams, antifungal creams, oh, and, okay. uh, uh -huh. and take care of it. Oh, you can write prescriptions for things like yeah, that. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they don't have to go back to a doctor to get. Yeah, for, see, for, for we have a like limited a, bit mm -hmm. of oh, that's what good. we can yeah. prescribe. But mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, with three years training, you be able to write. Yeah. A few, uh, okay. So, in general, now here we go. This is the aging population of which I am part of now. I hesitate <laughs> yeah. to say. But in general, why is foot health important in the aging population? I think you, but elaborate on what you just said because yeah. I think that's really important. I think it's probably just in one word it's mobility. Mm -hmm. And in that, it's your whole health. Um, if you can keep walking and moving around, then you're going to be a lot healthier overall. And hopefully, as a chiropodist, we try to keep you walking 
as pain free as possible. Mm -hmm. And it can come down to just not being able to cut your own toenails. Uh, I bet. I never thought that's right. Problems with their hips mm -hmm. or knees. They just can't mm -hmm. get down to, to okay. trim the nails and then they get to the point where they start causing problems and the person stops walking. Well, and that's no good. Yeah. You know? So it's cutting toenails. So now, like say someone ends up in the hospital and their toe, I've seen this myself, people with big long toenails. Mm -hmm. can, can you go to, can you go to, can they phone you to get an appointment? You can go to the yeah. hospital with your equipment. Yes. And, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. There's no problem at all. No, nope, they're mm -hmm. very good. Oh, that, uh, the hospital, yeah. They yeah. have me come But in. I think, and I think that why their toenails is just like you said, I never thought about it, that they can't bend over enough mm -hmm. to, to, yes. cut, to cut their own So they own. may not even have. And then they might not see well, and then there's a pair of scissors exactly. in their hand, like yeah. first, you know, they nicking their. Toe off the end of the toe. Yeah, yeah. and then if they're they a diabetic, that. then they get that's how they can get yes. the infection. Very, it's yes. a serious it, foot it problem is a serious thing. Then mm -hmm. it's, yes, it's very. nothing to uh, to just yeah, it seems skip like over something... that you shouldn't pay too much attention. Exactly. To it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's why you should take your socks off when you go see your doctor. <laughs> oh, is that <laughs> just so that they can see? Oh, hey, is there some issue oh. here? Yeah. Well, yeah, really? some people think get a little it. embarrassed <laughs> about it, but uh, uh -huh. really. So you mean you're going sure. into the doctor's office for like, because you don't feel very good, but make sure you take your, yeah, so like you can have a quick look at like your feet. Yeah, if they're going to do a, a thing, yeah, have them take a peek, oh, okay. uh, just in case. Who would have thought, see, we always learn, we learn something every day at <laughs> this thing about healthcare with for seniors, but I would never have thought of just taking my socks off before going. Yeah. And then he, all he has to do is have a little quick glance. Yeah, yeah. and he might be able to we'll detect say, oh, or he or she. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, it's, very good. Uh, that was good advice there. Yeah. yeah. So this is interesting. What did? Why did you get interested in chiropractic? Well, because uh, of this, your mother or your dad it, it or yourself? It was my mom or, oh. because she was a nurse and she. That's knew, right. Yeah, yes. she knew that there was a huge demand for foot care and oh. that it was a very important part of someone's health care. So she just mentioned. I was looking at going back to school at the time and. Uh, or. Yeah, I was actually thinking maybe electrician oh, or okay, something. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I had done furniture making oh. and uh, I was busy, but I just couldn't make a living. So I decided to go back to school. And meanwhile, mom just kind of huh. looked at me and said, hey, what about feet? <laughs> yeah, because uh -huh, that's not something people usually think of. I it's know, very I, and I would not have mm -hmm. on no. my own. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm so, so she saw glad a lot of she that. did. This is what we've talked about through this. She, your yes. mother's Gwen, I'm going to use yes, it. Yes, Gwen, that would notice that with older people. Well, not yeah. even older, but mostly older people. Yeah. That their feet were in really bad shape. Yes. And she, she would think, you know, something's got to be done about this. Yeah. So she, she <laughs> yeah, got you to I do it. So how long, now how long have you been? I know you've been here for quite a while, but how uh, long has it been? Actually, this? I, I went to school in 90s. I graduated in 2000, let's oh, say. Okay. So I've been At the turn of the century. Since. Yeah. Ah, that's <laughs> an easy way so to remember. Years mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. Is it really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You Crazy. said you made furniture. Did you happen to make that bench? No, oh. that's uh, from Canadian Tire. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I kept all my woodworking stuff, so oh, yeah. I hope to get back to it a little oh, bit more. That, so it's, you don't even, you're you too busy right now with your Yes, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't think it would be as busy, but I oh. guess mom knew what she was Just, talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's great then, yes. Yeah. So I think uh, there's anything you'd like to tell me that I haven't asked? I... I'll just say that it's a funny thing that this is May, and May is uh, Foot Health Month. <laughs> oh, that's right. You didn't yeah. Have, yeah, you, I didn't know May had, I didn't, I didn't know May. I didn't know <laughs> that, it that there was a health actual, month, yeah. uh, the health, health foot month at all. <laughs> I guess probably, I wonder if there's something for January, February, March. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is. For, every, for everything, yeah. Oh, so that yeah. this worked out really well. Yes. Well, I want to thank you because uh, this Thanks. has been very interesting. And because I know you so well, it's been a real pleasure for me to be <laughs> oh, able to <laughs> interview you. And uh, I just wish you continued success. And by the way, I oh, like your you. office. Oh, and you thanks. know, you've got lots of parking. <laughs> yes. You don't, and you don't have to Flat worry about paying parking. for parking. And, you, know, you don't have to worry about the tootie or a loony. Yeah, but, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and then if you need to go to the shopper's health care, just, right. right just across, just across the, street. the street. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if you need anything from the other store across the road. <laughs> yes. So, no, it's, ha it's very handy. Yes. So, and again, thank, thank oh, you thank so much. You. So, it's been a pleasure talking with yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I shall return. <laughs>